If you need a quick, easy, and very reliable way to host your WordPress website, this video is the right video for you, as I'm going to walk you through how to use the newly launched InstaWP Live to host your WordPress website. InstaWP has been a powerful tool for WordPress developers because it makes the process of developing, testing, and staging WordPress sites easy for everybody. And now it is even better and more powerful because with the launch of InstaWP Live, when you are done working on your website in a staging environment, you can easily move it to live hosting directly within InstaWP. This is a game changer because now you have all the tools you need to go from staging to live in one place, which is very, very convenient. The good thing about using InstaWP Live compared to other hosting options out there is that InstaWP Live is specifically built and optimized for WordPress. So it has a lot of features that will boost the performance and security of your WordPress website, as you'll see in a moment. But before we dive in and explore how to use InstaWP Live for your projects, I want you to take two seconds to hit the thumbs up button, give this video a like to help more people discover this video. And if you are yet to subscribe to this channel, please go ahead and smash the subscribe button. Also turn on the bell notification so that you'll be the first to know whenever I drop new videos. And with all that said, let's get started. Open a new tab in your browser and visit instawp.com slash live. To make it easy for you, I am going to leave this link in the description as well. So you can just click the first link in the description of this video. That will bring you over to the landing page of InstaWP Live, where you can get to see all the unique features of this service. You can see here, InstaWP Live's infrastructure is built for WordPress website from the ground up, from the same team who has built the infrastructure for WordPress.com. And this service has incredibly low page speed index, edge caching, and a built-in CDN. So you don't need a separate CDN for your website when using InstaWP Live. Also, they have four origin and 24 edge global data centers. And if you scroll further down, you are going to see more of these details. It comes with additional features like enhanced DS protection that will help protect your website, advanced web application firewall, real-time failover, regular backups, a built-in CDN, guaranteed uptime for your website, and advanced development tooling to help you when working on your project. Now with InstaWP, you can start with a staging website, work with clients and your teams, and when you are ready, you can go live with just a click of a button. There are no complexities, there are no technicalities, everything is just simple and straight to the point. And if you scroll further down, you are going to see the pricing page, simple pricing for everyone. They have the $9 per month plan, which is ideal for beginners. And with this, you get 25 gig of this space per site. Other hosting platforms gives you shared hosting packages where multiple websites share a single disk space. But with InstaWP Live, each website gets its own disk space, which can really help with the performance of your website. Also two CPU per site, and then 400,000 visitors per site, hourly database backups, daily file backups, inbuilt CDN, and built-in web application firewall. All of these for $9 per month. And they also have the boost plan, the growth plan, the accelerate plan, and all of these, you can see the amazing features that they have here. And one thing with InstaWP Live is that they have different pricing structures depending on the number of sites that you're hosting. So if you're hosting more than 10 sites, you get all of this. But let's say you have two to nine, here's the pricing, and if it's just a single site, you get this as well. So the more sites you are hosting, the cheaper it gets. You can take the time to go through all of these details for yourself. But right now, I'm going to log into my InstaWP account and then walk you through how this process works. And if you don't have an InstaWP account yet, I've already made a video showing you how to get started with InstaWP. I'm going to link that video in the description. You can check that out. But if you already have your InstaWP account, you can just go ahead and log in. Right here, I am going to create a new staging site. So I'll click on Add New, and then you can select the plugins you want to have have installed a website here at popular recommendations. Let's say I want to use email marketing for e-commerce by Omnisend. And then after selecting all the plugins you need, you can give your website a name. Let's say staging site. And then if you want it to be a reserved site, you can check this and then click on create site. In just a few seconds, InstaWP is going to set up our website and our website is ready. This is the URL. Let's assume I am done working on this particular project and I'm ready to move my website to a live hosting. With InstaWP, that is now very simple. So here's the website that I just created. To go live, I just need to come over here and click on this go live button. If I click on go live, 
and then you want to select the hosting option you want to use. You can either host with InstaWP or you can use an external hosting service. I am going to select InstaWP Live, which is the hosting option I want to use, and then click on next step. And here you want to select the payment plan that you would like to use. I'll go with the $18 per month option right now, and then click on next. At this stage, you can select the data center of your choice. They have three data centers in the US and one in Europe. I just select one in the US, and then you can select the PHP version you want to use. I'll just leave it at version 8. One thing you should also know is that InstaWP is going to help you select the latest version of WordPress. And here, you just want to go ahead and enter a domain name. Very soon, I'm going to show you how to link your custom domain to your InstaWP hosting because right now, the domain name that you are going to get from this will end with .instawp.app but I'll show you how you can link your custom domain, let's say something like emmanueladam.com. But right now, let's just go ahead and enter something here and then just go ahead and click on next step. And here you also have the option to select more plugins for your site, but we can just go ahead and click on go live. You are just a step away from creating a new hosted site. Do you wish to continue? I'll click on yes. Now inside WP is going to set up our website on a live hosting and do all the necessary configurations that we need. This is going to take just a couple of seconds. So let's just wait for it. And yes, our website is live. This is so nice. You can see your new WordPress website is now live. Here is a new URL, emmanueladam.instawp.app. And you also see the username and password for your website. Or you can even log in directly just by using the magic login button. And this will take you straight to your WordPress admin dashboard. Here, if I come back to plugins, you're going to see the plugins that came pre-installed with our website. And one of the plugins that we have here is InstaWP Connect, which is very helpful in helping you work between your InstaWP account and your WordPress admin dashboard. So this is how easy it is to take your website live with InstaWP. You can use this same process for the old websites that you have on InstaWP not just for newly created websites. For instance, all these websites that I had here, when I'm ready to go live, I just need to come over here and click on this go live button. And if we come over to hosting, here you can create a new live site, just click on new site, and then select the hosting option you want to use, and then go ahead and continue with the setup. And you are also going to see all the live websites that you have here. This is a website that we just went live with. You can add tags to each site. You can also use the magic login button whenever you want to log into your WordPress admin dashboard. And if you click on this drop down icon, you are going to see some extra settings like map domain, backup. You click on more options. Here you are going to see details about your website. You can see showing us that your website is connected. But right now, one thing I would like to do is to link a custom domain to my website. So I'll come back to map domain. And the process is very simple. You just need to enter your domain name and then point the A record to these two IP address. So I'll just go ahead and enter my domain name here. The domain name I'm going to use is codewithemmanuel.com. Now I got this domain name from Hostinger and regardless of the platform where you got your domain name from, you just want to look for the DNS records of your domain name. And once you get that, I'll copy the first IP address and then go to my DNS records. Under manage DNS records, you want to select type A and then the name is going to be at and then points to paste the first IP address and then the TTL I'm going to use 300 which is um, basically five minutes and then click on add record. Then I'll repeat the same process for the second IP address, copy this and then come over and the same name and then click on add record. Add an additional record, I'll just click on confirm. And once you have this in place, you can just come over here and click on map domain. All right, we've done that successfully. Now let's go ahead and test this. If this domain will actually redirect us to this website we just created. Let me open a new tab and then enter code with emmanuel.com. And you can see it brings us to this actual website that we created. So guys, this is basically how you can use InstaWP Live to host your WordPress website very easily. Let me know what you think about InstaWP Live in the comment section, or if you have any questions from this process, let me know in the comment section as well. I'll be there answering your questions. And don't forget to like and subscribe if you got value from this video. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.